Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be sketching the graph of polynomial functions in factored form and this is the second part. If you want to check the video of the first part, I will put the link of that video in the description box below. So this is called the second part because we will be dealing with multiplicity. So multiplicity Multiplicity refers to the exponent of the a binomial in factored form. So this is in a multiple of three. So um, they're the same rule that we got from the previous um, part. So these are all the parts here, but there's a separate rule for multiplicity. So if the multiplicity is in multiples of two, four, six, eight, the graph will flatten at that root and will bounce back the x-axis. Well, if the multiple, uh, if it's in a multiple of three, five, seven, and nine, it will flatten and go through the x-axis. So let's have an example to better see this. So we start here with this one. We are going to start um, labeling the uh, ones with multiplicity. So this one right here, since this is a three, it's one of these, three, five, seven, and nine. It will flatten and go through so i label that so we don't forget the rest will just be a regular just like of the first part so the roots here are x equals negative two and then the other one is x equals positive one and then the end behavior so that's a three that's a one so it's fourth degree so four is even and it is negative so this is even negative so let's put in the um let's put in the uh, roots here so first root is at negative two so i will put a dot there and then the second root is at positive one i will put a dot there and then since this is even negative both of them are going down and this side is also going down so we're ready to sketch the graph so again, there is a multiplicity at 1. It will flatten and go through. So here, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything, so it's just go through right away. But then in this part right here, it will flatten and go through. So it flattens and it's going to go through here. It doesn't flatten, so it just go through right away. But here, it flattens first before it going through. I actually graphed this um, um, equation on Desmos and this is how it looks. So as you can see, so that's the graph I put it in. It go, it went through on negative 2 but it flattens on positive 1 because there was a multiplicity in that, in that root. It's right there. Let's take the second example. So there is another multiplicity at negative three. So I'm gonna label this. Since this is, um, this the multiplicity here is two, it will flatten and, so feel free to go back to the rules that we have set at the beginning. So this one will flatten and bounce back. Since this is in a multiples of two, four, six, so it's gonna bounce back. Okay, so let's take the roots. The roots are, the first root is zero. The second root is negative one. The third root is positive two. And the fourth root is negative three. And there is a multiplicity on negative three. Let's look at the end behavior. Let's look at the degree first. So this is two. 1 and 1 and 1, so 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 5th degree. And so this is odd. And the beginning is negative. So this is odd negative. So let's put in the roots here. So there is at 0. There is uh, another root at, um, at negative 1. There's another root um, at positive 2 and then negative 3. At negative 3, there is 
a multiplicity of two, which will flatten and bounce back. So since this is odd negative, it's gonna go up this way and it's gonna go down this way. Okay, so we're ready to sketch the graph. So it's odd negative, so we, we set that up. It flattens and bounces back on negative three. So it flattens here and it's gonna bounce back. It's not gonna go through the um, x-axis. It's gonna go this way and it's gonna go this way and it's gonna go down. And so this is the shape of this graph. I actually have sketched the graph on Desmos and this is how the graph look like. So it flattens on um, negative three and all the rest were good. So it's, it, it, it pretty much looks similar to the ones that we have up here. Okay, let's have the, the last example here. So we combined both multiplicity of three, four here. So let's, uh, there's, there is a multiplicity here and there's a multiplicity as well here, so that's four. So since this is a three, this one will flatten and go through. Since this is a four, this will flatten and bounce back. Again, so if you wanna see these rules, you can always go back to the previous slide. So these are the rules and this one will still be the same. So x is equal to negative um, two, x is equal to positive three, and x is equal to negative one. So we are now ready to put these roots here. So negative two and then positive three and then negative one. And let's look at the end behavior. So this is three plus four is seven plus one is eighth degree. So this is even and that's a positive right there. So this is even positive. So this one's gonna go up here and this one's gonna go up here. So let's sketch the graph. First on negative two, it's gonna flatten and go through. Negative two, it's gonna flatten and it's gonna go through. And then on negative one, so there's nothing, nothing's happening on negative one. But when it gets to positive three, it will flatten and bounce back. So it's going to flatten here and it will bounce back. And this is the shape of this graph. And I actually have graphed it on decimals as well. So in here, it actually flattens on negative two and it bounces back on positive three. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!